my thoughts is that I'm ready for it. You know, um, it's what I've worked for. It's what I've fought for. Um, my first two years, especially with all the moves that have been made, um, not even the opportunity for myself, but for all the young guys. You know, um, it's opened up. Uh, I, we're here and we're going to play now, and um, we're going to show what we can do um, for myself. You know, I've worked. I've pushed myself um, in a totally different way this offseason. I'm preparing uh, myself for a full 82 game season. Um, for increased minutes, uh, taking care of my body, um, just training, um, and try to make it as difficult as possible for myself to um, improve and to improve. So um, I'm ready for it. Um, I'm approaching it the same way I approach everything. Um, uh, so I'm excited to get the season started. Um, I think it's really tough, you know, um, especially with me and the playing time that I have gotten has been up and down, played heavy minutes, don't play next game, um, playing back to backs, not playing. Um, so, you know, you don't really get a feel of how tiring the season is. You know, um, one game I play 28, 30 minutes, the next game I play 5, 10, you know, a game after that, zero. So, um, you don't really get a feel for, you know, how tiring a game is, but talking to DeMar, talking to Kyle, uh, especially in the summer, talking to Russell Westbrook when I'm working out with him um, and how they prepare mentally um, and physically day in and day out um, and taking care of their bodies, eating right, um, and uh, still working on their games throughout the season, you know, to stay ready for um, uh, the games. Um, you know, I've, I've taken from them and I've incorporated it in the way I go about it every day. And um, I've just pushed myself really hard to exhaustion and uh, pushing through that. You know, every single day I was working out. You know, I was doing three workouts a day, 5 a.m., 7 a.m., and 9 a.m., you know, back to back to back to back, um, five days a week um, on the weekends doing pull workouts with, uh, with DeMar. Um, so I've, I've trained my body in a different way. You know, uh, I've talked about doing three a days, but uh, they were spaced out, you know, and I had time to recover. Um, but these I'm going from workout to workout to workout, and it's nonstop. So um, uh, it, it was a great summer for me. You know, I put in a lot of work, and um, I think I'm, I'm really I'm in the best shape of my life. Um, my body fat's down. Uh, my conditioning's up. Uh, my focus and and – readiness is is there you know so I'm, i've been itching for a training camp to start for preseason to start um for a while now <laughs> oh i i had I had a chance to, to have fun um i say like the first two weeks of the season uh, everybody was telling me that i need to take a break so i went down to miami for a couple of days and i went to the bahamas for a couple of days um but after those two weeks, um, it was straight back to business. And then um, I got a chance to take an opportunity to go with uh, Larry and Judy Tannenbaum to, and Masai to Israel for the Basketballs Without Borders and um, experience that, um, be a part of that. And uh, I still worked out there. And, um, but, um, you know, being able to take away from basketball and just uh, see a different side of things um, was, was amazing for me out there. Talk about Israel. What was it like? Um, when I was going into Israel, I didn't know what it was going to be like. You know, you hear so many different things about it, but um, it was amazing. It was honestly a life-changing changing and eye-opening, um, not only for um, what the NBA um, was doing there and when they opened up the Jerusalem YMCA for the Israeli and Palestinian kids, but just to see, you know, a different side of life, a different struggle, you know, and listen to their stories and just to see how much, you know, they embrace basketball, you know, and, and how much it can change, you know, their lives and how how they how basketball is bringing them together. You know, that's what what I saw that the unity between the Israeli and Palestinian um, kids, even though you know their country is going through conflict, you know, and it's been conflict for conflict for a long time, you know, and they're really fighting and, and trying to change that. And um, just to see how basketball and sports in general um, can shine a new light, you know, and bring together people for, you know, one common thing, showing that we're all equal um, and we're all fighting for, for one thing. As you mentioned, you've been thrown into a number of different roles in, in your first two years. Uh, you started to come off the bench. Did you have a preference between the two going into camp, going into the year, knowing that you and, and CJ are, are both kind of up for that, that gig that is now open with Jamari and Russell? 
Honestly, I don't. Um, I've talked to Coach Casey about it, and um, it honestly doesn't matter to me. You know, um, I have the same exact approach. I mean, everybody wants to start an NBA. Like, that's obvious. Everybody wants to be an NBA starter. Um, but for me, um, I've always been about the team first. You know, in every interview and everybody you talk to about me, I've always been about the team. You know, whatever is the best for the team to get us to where we need to be is what I'm for, whether it's me starting, you know, and or me coming off and manning the second unit and, and, and bringing the energy off the bench. Um, that's what I'm going to do, you know. So, honestly, it doesn't matter to me. I'm not going to be upset if I don't start, you know, and I'm not going to be overly joyed if I, if I do get the starting spot. Um, I'm going to be focused on helping the team win and preparing myself day in and day out um, to get as many wins as possible and um, to get back to the postseason. Um, that's always been my main focus, you know, to get back to where we were um, and uh, fight to, to get to the finals and win a championship. Um, yeah, you know, I think uh, a lot of things uh, play a role in that. You know, um, uh, what I just want to say, I'm not a small forward. I've seen that. There was some stuff out there that I was, I'm not a small forward. I'm a combo guard. This is, no, but um, <laughs> um, honestly, uh, yeah, you know, it just depends on what's going on day in and day out. I think uh, with the absence of Corey and Damar, you know, the minutes are going to be there. You know, whether I'm starting or I'm coming off the bench, it's about, being productive in those minutes, you know, um, you know, when one night, you know, it might be a lineup thing and CJ's been starting and then I'm throwing in there for a matchup reason, you know, um, uh, or vice versa. You know, um, I think that's what's so great about this team. We have so many versatile guys that and we can throw out there and mix it up, you know, throughout the season to, to keep teams honest and to keep it interesting. So um, uh, I know the minutes are going to be there. You know, I, I've prepared myself um, for that, like I've said. Uh, the, the play the whole season. So um, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the increased minutes. I'm ready for the increased role. Um, and that's my main focus. Um, one of the things that obviously comes with more minutes and a bigger role is, uh, I guess, a bigger spotlight in the opposing game. Is there one aspect of your game that you think you'll have to develop the most uh, as defenses get more used to using it? Um, yeah, I think they're going to be really loaded up on me. You know, they know that I'm a, an aggressive t attacker, you know, looking to get to the rim, um, draw fouls, get to the uh, free throw line. So um, I think, you know, they're going to start, you know, trying to clog up and take away those driving lanes. And that's when, you know, um, what I've been doing is being able to be a playmaker and make decisions and make reads and keep them off balance, you know, finding open teammates, finding an open pass, finding the next play. Um, just reading defenses, you know, um, it's just like when I when I watch Demar um, and Kyle, you know, uh, how they adjust to the way teams are guarding them, and um, in the film that I've watched, you know, talking to Russell, um, like I said when I was working out with him, and then how he approaches it, you know, being so focused and locked in on him, you know, and so um, it's about making the easy and right play for my teammates, you know, not just for myself. So I think um, that's one thing that you know I'm definitely. Uh, focused on. It's definitely going to be trying to uh, mimic during preseason and training camp and making an easy open play, you know, not trying to force things because uh, teams are going to be more locked in uh, to what I'm doing. Um, it's frustrating, um, you know, with everything that's going on. Um, I find it really uh, frustrating for me, you know, to to see um, the main focus of things not really being a focus. You know, it's it's um, the little things that are being brought to light oh, rather than the, the grand scheme of things, you know, um, an invitation being rescinded from Steph Curry, you know, speaking up and having an issue about wanting to visit, you know, the White House, you know, the Golden State Warriors and the organization. You know, um, I think uh, – what they're standing up for and why they don't want to uh, needs to be the issue, not that they don't want to. You know, um, uh, even with uh, all the uh, the Twitter stuff that's been going on, uh, with him firing back and talking about the NFL and Colin Kaepernick and the guys kneeling um, during the anthem, you know, uh, everybody is shining light on it's them disrespecting the flag in the country, but they're not shining light on the reasons why they're doing what they're doing. You know, that's the most frustrating thing for me. And I think um, as the president of the United States, like you need to have the actual like genuine and concern of the people, 
you know, not just your own feelings and trying to be the biggest person in the room um, because you're in a position of power, but to actually see and listen to why these people are doing what they're doing and why they um, have the views that they have and trying to sit down and talk to them and, and change it. You know, it's not about firing back and, and arguing and, and trying to be right. You know, it's about getting it right, you know, and, and trying to bring about a positive change to the country.